On this episode, we show you some of our hottest new listings with all kinds of views from the golf course and mountains, the Las Vegas Strip, and even one on the water. The Rob Jensen Company specializes in guard-gated luxury homes in Summerlin, Las Vegas, and Henderson. Rob Jensen has served as an expert guest commentator for numerous national broadcast networks and media outlets. Let's see what's happening today with Rob and the team. It's the Rob Jensen Show. We're up at 11600 Evergreen Creek Lane in the west gate of Red Rock Country Club here to meet with our new seller to get the listing paperwork signed of this incredible listing. I mean, check out that view. That is extraordinary. We've got the mountains, we've got the golf course, and I'm really excited. This one isn't gonna last long, and you'll just have to stay tuned, and we'll show it to you soon enough. So the thing that sold me on it was the fact that I asked him, I said, I said if you had sold that other house, or the, that, he, that Rob just sold, I said, would you have, would you got me 1.575 if that was my house? Yeah. And he's like, uh, it took him too long to hesitate before he No. <laughs> it also came down to the fact that, that he thinks you're fantastic too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So you guys coming to our party tonight? No, we're going to the game, man. Oh, oh that's oh, right. So you have garage, casita, and office. Okay, cool. So we just got all the paperwork signed up, really stoked. You know, one of the big reasons why this seller hired us over, you know, other friends that they know as agents is our recent, you know, our track record of success. Specifically, we've had a handful of other single stories with great views sell for um, top dollar, specifically on Green Mountain and Tapadero. And, you know, of course, we know that market. We know why these views sell and should get the premium they do. And so that's why they hired us is our track record. And we're going to prove them right. So we're here at our newest listing, 11600 Evergreen Creek, and we're here to preview it for the first time. And we're really excited to go in and see it. Okay, Adrian, let's go check Ready this place out. In. Oh, check out this fireplace. Oh, wow, nice tall ceilings. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that view. Golf course, mountain, wow. I keep saying wow. <laughs> really pretty landscaping too. Yeah, looks like the grass is part of the golf course. Also. It does. <laughs> really nice open kitchen. You can do lots of entertaining here, huh? Yeah, lots of cabinets, lots of nice appliances, double oven. Adrian, look at the skylight right here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. This is pretty spacious. Yeah. This is a great bathroom. Shall, Shall we, we go, go outside? outside? <laughs> Tons of covered patio space. This is nice. Now this view is breathtaking. Got more mountain views over there. I just love how close we are to those mountains. So we have just wrapped up our preview at 11600 Evergreen, and I thought it was a beautiful home. What did you think, Adrian? Absolutely, it's in great condition. The curb appeal on landscaping is pristine, and these double fairway views are just phenomenal. Oh yeah, they're this really, is, really beautiful. This is a great house for entertaining with the wet bar and the built-in barbecue out here. I totally this agree. Huge covered terrace. There's plenty of doors where you can go inside or outside, which is nice too, from really any part of the house. You have yeah. the kitchen, living room, great room, courtyard. So I can think of a few people who would be interested in this house. Um, really excited to show it. I'm gonna go call some people. We're here today with the one and only Scott Taylor, our amazing CPA with Piercy Bowler, Taylor and & Kern, and I've got all kinds of awesome questions for him. So thanks for coming by the office. 
Great to be here. Perfect. What are the guidelines for becoming a Nevada resident? Well, first off is when you see the tax rates of California, which are somewhere in the neighborhood of 13.8%, they go up from there. Uh-huh. And they're fairly high marginal tax brackets. They make it so a lot of people are moving. They're moving to Nevada. Yeah, They're moving to less taxing states, Arizona, Utah, mm-hmm. even Oregon. But uh, very high income taxes makes you want to change your domicile. Yeah, And that's the key to residency is you've got to physically change your domicile. That's basically a, a legal way of saying change your roots, how you conduct your life, mm-hmm. how you basically deal with your day-to-day affairs, your domicile. Got it. So that, that's the first key to changing your residence to the state of Nevada. Mm-hmm. Second in line is how long you are inside that state where you yeah. now domicile in. So if, if you're in that state more than 182 days, it's more than half the year, uh-huh. it sort of helps your, your mindset. There's a lot of people who live in multiple states. You just gotta be careful with your time because they are, they're following up people big time. Yeah, I heard that even they're using phone records now yeah. where it's like, because your phone knows where everyone's basically got a GPS on them now and so they can tell where you are just from your GPS and what or and what network your calls are coming from. So they don't even need to look at every one of your calls. It's just what network was, oh, he was, you know. That, that is for sure. Um, there's pending uh, franchise tax board examinations with, that's part of their discovery mm-hmm. to see if you've really domiciled. It used to be, hey, make sure you're careful with what you spend when you're across the border. Make sure when you're in Nevada or outside of California, you... You, you take care of your, your spending so that it can be documented on a, an electronic bank statement uh-huh. or a credit card statement. Now you've got the additional issue of, hey, now we want your phone records. They, wanna, they can see where your texts originate from, they can see where your phones originate, mm-hmm. where the calls are coming to and from. And so it's kind of putting an additional um, you know, mechanism to your phone records. Some people have multiple phones now. You know, what do they say? You got to have your driver's license here, utility bills, you know, bills mailed here. Like, it's something to be taken serious. I mean, it's a serious amount of savings, and it's there's a good reason to do it if you can. So, thanks again, boss, for coming in today. Great it's to been be a here. Pleasure. Perfect. Thank you. So we're here at our newest listing, 2980 American River. It's in Willow Falls, which is the custom section of Willow Creek, 24-hour guard gate community that's beautiful. Has lots of green grass and mature trees throughout. The house looks beautiful and I'm excited to see it. Let's go on in. So already I'm seeing some gorgeous features of this house. We have polished travertine floors. There's a custom iron front door. So there's tons of windows going all the way up to the 24 foot ceilings, letting in some amazing natural light. So we've got a huge gourmet kitchen. This island is huge and amazing. Um, Custom granite with the beveled edges. We've got gourmet wolf range and hood. We have a warming drawer. And here we have our great room with gorgeous coffered ceilings. So we're here in the backyard, which is very spacious and perfect for entertaining. To my left, we have a wonderful barbecue area with a palapa. We also have a staircase going up to the master balcony. We have a beautifully designed pool and hot tub. Tons of really pretty grass and landscaping. And as we walk further down the patio, there's a 24 foot high patio cover, which is a really unique feature. So just gorgeous back here. I'd love to show you more of this big, beautiful house, but I actually have to get moving and get to our next new listing and preview that. And then I have to get ready for all these new showings that are going to start taking place. We're at our new listing at 8100 Tierra Cove in Desert Shores. The whole team is here to preview the home and get an idea of the special features this particular house has in order to bring them up to our potential buyers. 
This particular home sits on the water, so I'm looking forward to see the view of the lake. Let's go inside. We just finished our walkthrough and preview of this beautiful house. The rest of the team members are still in there taking care of all the things that need to be done prior to listing. We're taking pictures, we're doing copy, just getting everything ready to showcase this house the best way possible. I'm excited about this new listing. I'm excited to show it. I'm excited to bring potential buyers. I know this house will sell really quickly. This is the one that we just sold for a million six ten. It's your same floor plan, the plan one. And it was on a half an acre, which was nice. So much bigger lot, double fairway with the view, fence down the hill. And it had the four car garage with the casita, but not the casita wasn't as big. I mean, our big focus for the selling point is gonna be the view, quiet cul-de-sac. Yeah, this is just an idea of like the videos we put together or he puts together for this is for that house down the street. So, you know, that's how we're going to market is really focus on right. the highlights. Well, this is why Rick said, we had, have you ever been down into Ten Oaks? Uh-huh. Okay, the big one in the corner, the acre. I know, yeah. That's our that house. house. We built that. Oh, cool. And we, that's Rick and I built up. that house. Uh -huh. And that's where our kids grew up. And when we sold that, Rick said, no, you've got to get someone who does, um, advertising and stuff. Yeah. You and the, so that's a great house. You had the go-kart track as yeah. a kid. Yes. Lucky you. How yes. spoiled. Yeah. yeah. Eight new listings. 10.3 million in new listings. They've changed MLS service providers throughout the, the years. So it creates confusion. You know, another issue is like master bedroom down. If we've got a client that wants a master bedroom down, you should be able to just put in master bedroom down, yes. And that'll give you both, all. it'll give you all single stories and the, and the two stories that have a master bedroom down. The problem is that it's not a required field, which means most single story listings have it left blank. Because one might say, oh, well, that's weird to say the master bedroom's down because it's only a one story. But the thing is, you have to say the master bedroom's down because otherwise, when we've got a client that wants a master bedroom down, we have to set up two searches because we have to set up two story where it says master bedroom down as yes. And then we also just have to set up a one story search. Not the end of the world, but it's clunky. It's not like... We're in this age of artificial intelligence and talking phones and speakers and self-driving cars. Like, why are we doing this to ourselves? So that should be a required field. So that way we don't have to set up two searches. Thank you for watching The Rob Jensen Show. Jackson. Thriller.